the number of significant figures that a quantity has when we write down the number for that quantity tells us something about how well we know that quantity, tells us how precisely we know that number. Just say I've measured a length of something to be um, an object which is about two millimetres in length. So I could write two millimetres or I could write 0 0.002 metres. Just um, imagine that it's got a metres sitting there but I need to leave some room for some other digits. So that number has one significant figure. All non-zero digits are significant. They tell us something um, of significance about that number. We know at that decimal place what that number is. These zeros over here, on the other hand, are not significant. These ones are not significant because they are only used to locate the decimal point. We could have said it's two millimetres, in which case, uh, and from that we can see that those zeros before the two are not really important to tell us how well we know the number. And again, this zero over here is not significant. It's kind of only there for cosmetic purposes. It's a zero that doesn't give us any information about how we know the number, how well we know the number. So this number as it stands has one significant figure. Only one of those digits tells us something about how well we know that quantity. Let's say we measured it a little more precisely. Let's say it was 0 0.0025 metres. In that case, it still falls under this rule. It is significant. It's a non-zero digit. Let's just say we measured this again to many more decimal places here. We know this number really precisely. Again, all non-zero digits are significant. And it also turns out that all of these zeros in between non-zero digits are also significant. It's clear, because we've written them as zero, that we know that they are zero in that decimal place. And that brings us to those zeros on the end here. What do we know about these two digits here? If we, we're not sure about what the number was in those, in those places there, we wouldn't have written anything. We could have just cut it off at the 83 and left it at that. We put those extra zeros in for a reason. It's because we know that at those place at those decimal places, the value of that number is zero. And because we're actually saying something important about that number, they are significant. And notice here that I've said that that rule holds when those zeros at the end of a number are to the right of a decimal point. And we'll see in the next example why that is an important distinction to make. So let's count up the number of significant figures that this number has. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so we might write here that it has 8 SF or 8 sig fig to specify that we know that number pre that precisely. 
use another number, a larger one this time, 308,400. Again, all non-zeros are significant, and also zeros that are between non-zero numbers are also significant. They are all relevant um, to, they all give us information about what that number is in that particular place. But what about those zeros at the end? Well, these zeros here, in the way this number is written in standard form here, we kind of have to have those zeros, otherwise we wouldn't know it was 308,400. If we, if we left the zeros off, it would just look like 3,084. So the truth is, as this number is written, we don't know whether those zeros are significant. It could be that there are 308,400 uh, people living in Canberra in 1982, and that we might know that exactly. Or we might know to the nearest hundred that there were 308,400 people, approximately that many. So it's not clear the way this is written if they are significant. You would need to specify when you were writing this number down how many it had. So as it stands at the moment, it has between four and six. It's important to know the number of significant figures in a number um, because when we start to do calculations with those numbers, we need to make sure that our final answer for our calculation, we're not trying to overstate uh, the precision of that number. We're not trying to say we know it better than we actually do based on the information we were given to start with. So it's important just to keep in mind that significant figures tells you something about how well you know that number, how precisely you know it.